As you can see, now they are asking me to do it just using an algorithm. So this is like ki way kind of way more advanced. I saw that you guys you were putting a lot of blocks and that is perfectly fine, okay? That is correct, no worries. But the problem here is that um, the, it could be made by a easier way. It is totally fine that uh, if you guys you don't know how to do it, no worries guys, I got you. So we're gonna be moving from uh, one, uh, one square and then come back, two squares and come back, four squares and come back, and eight squares and come back. That's the pattern, all right? So I'm gonna do that right away. I'm gonna get rid of all the blocks and just pay attention here, please. So there is something new that we're gonna be learning today that is called variables. So the variables are usually elements that they are going to be changing the value from time to time, okay? So I'm gonna move this right here and then I have something that is called my variable because I wanna do it like super professional. I wanna make a variable from scratch in variables. I'm gonna uh, call it this variable n squares, n squares, number of squares, n squares, and I click on submit. And you have a variable called n squares, all right? At the very beginning, I'm gonna set that variable to the value n squares, make sure that you change this one, n squares to the value one. At the very beginning, I just want to move one square away, all right? And also, there is something super cool that you can do is to use in control a block that is called repeat, that is called a loop. So there's one that you guys drag and drop, one of these blocks that is called repeat, okay? The first one, one, two, three, four times, I think. So I'm gonna put a repeat four. About what? About the movement, go and click into uh, the drive train, and then I'm gonna move forward at the very beginning, and I also I'm gonna move backwards. I'm gonna move in reverse. All right. The problem here is, you know what? It's not going to be 200. It's going to be 200 times the number of squares that I want. Okay. 200 times the number of squares that I want. You're gonna need to do a small operation. That is to multiply n squares by the 200. So click on operators, green, and then you have the multiplication. The multiplication is right here. So this is a block where you guys, you can combine two different operators, okay? And the result is going to be automatically calculated for you, all right? What you want is the 200. I want, go to variables, I want number of squares, drag and drop n squares, number of squares times 200. So you can type 200, 200, boom, all set. All right, now that I have number of squares times 200, let's gonna see what this guy does. I'm gonna copy this, duplicate it, and I have twice the same block. I want it right here, also, I want it right here as well. It's kind of tricky to move. So that will do the trick. Almost. I'm gonna be playing this guy, and let's see how it goes. Play, it moves one square, and it comes back. One square, and it comes back, and so on. So as you can see, uh, it's almost working. I want to make sure that I increase the number of squares. At the very beginning, it will be one. The next time, it will be two, it will be the double. The next time, it will be two, it will be the double, and so on. So, now I just need to go to set the variable. One more time. It's going to be number of squares. And you're gonna multiply that variable, multiplication. You're gonna multiply that variable by two. I know it's kind of tricky, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, a way more advanced ways to do exactly the same work. So with one, two, three, four, five, five blocks, so I was able to do everything using 
something that is called variable that is going to be changing the value, something that is called uh, loop, the repeat, that is going to be repeating all the time the same thing over and over again. So now, when you play this guy, it's going one step, or one, uh, one square forward. Oh my bad, it's not my variable. Number of squares, now I got you. When you play it, it will be one, now two, and comes back, now four, and it comes back again. And finally, I want to do it one more time, and it's going to be eight squares, and then it comes all the way back. All right? So that's the professional way. As soon as you guys learn uh, variables and loops and everything, we're going to do it by, by this way. We're going to do it using uh, loops, using variables and everything. Not like doing super kilometric uh, uh, blocks. But no worries, it's fine. You guys you are learning, okay? Now do me a favor, please, and do this solution or a variation that you guys want for the level 3, all right? This is the professional way to do it, okay? You can do your own version. It's perfectly fine. This is for level 3, guys. Thank you.